hi i'm back again today you're welcome to ng for smart channel my name is ng ike i just want to appreciate you for your understanding for last video when i supposed to talk about the singles board due to the situation in nigeria i have to express my own concern with what is going on in our beloved country nigeria being a nigerian originally so i made just a prayer for nigeria so i'm back today to talk about the singles and the topic i'm going to encourage us on holy spirit giving us understanding is the five key facts about god's timing the five key facts about god's timing <clears throat> you can all agree that there is time distinct for everyone from the foundation of the world to achieve god's divine purpose or destiny so in the same manner when it comes to a single girl being interested to get married and my topic or what i'm delivering here in this post is for christian ladies it's for christian ladies so my sisters what i'm trying to say i know you have the understanding that it's god's time for you that your husband will locate you and you get settled there is time so what i want to share with us here today is the five key factors you need to have the understanding about god's timing while you are waiting what you need to understand about our god i don't want or don't feel these misconceptions like oh the age is passing the age is not on my side god is not a god of age age is only a number in his sight it's we that is talking about age for god age is only a number and i don't want you to have the feelings i've not prayed enough you have prayed enough you are praying and you have prayed even though you shall you will continue to pray as Bible tells us in the book of Philippians, pray always, pray continually, seek him continually, knock and ask and the door will be opened and we shall receive. So you will continue to pray until you see the physical manifestation of your blessing. But I don't, I'm, what I'm trying to say, don't have the feelings, I've not prayed enough. Don't have the feelings, I don't have enough faith. You have faith. You have faith in your God. Because the Bible says, even if we have a faith in the book of Matthew, as small as a mustard seed, we can speak to a man to move and it will move. So you have faith. So let this misconception of faith not be you at all. I just want you to have this understanding about God's timing. Bible says in the book of Psalm 27 verse 4, Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So listen, my sister. Although you have faced disappointments, the first thing you want to understand, first key factor is timely encouragement. In God's timing, there is timely encouragement. Even though you have have some men, you know, hurt you emotionally, even though you have hurt some family relatives, you know, putting pressure on you, even though and you have faced whatever challenge it is in you desiring to have your own husband, I just want you to know that God is 
timely encouraging you. From the very moment, those unpleasant experiences you are having, from the very moment you gave your life to Christ, you have already got and built, inbuilt internal encouragement system. What do I mean by internal encouragement system? Within you is Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit is within you during difficult times. At the, mo the moment you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, Holy Spirit is within you and will always encourage you, will always speak to you. Daughter, wait. I am a faithful God. I just want to, uh, you know, reference some Bible uh, stories. In the Bible, David, in the book of First Samuel, chapter 30, David experienced devastating, overwhelming events. David returned home at Ziklag, his home, with his men, only to find that the Amalekites raided and burned his land with fire and took the women and the children captive. The women, including his two wives. Abigail and Jezreel. David and the people who were with him wept until they were too exhausted to weep anymore. Everyone was affected and distressed, and even the life of David was in danger as people are chasing him to stone him because they've lost their wives and their children. But the Bible said to us that David was strengthened and encouraged himself in the Lord. David encouraged himself in the Lord. He sought God's direction regarding his troubles. And David recovered. And when he sought God's direction, do I pursue? Do I chase? Will I recover all? Excuse me. Bible says God led him to a direction to pursue and that he will recover. And David recovered all that the enemy stole from him. So, when you are going through timely encouragement, when you have got some issues in your relationship, whatever kind of issue it is, Encourage yourself in the Lord. Just know it's timely encouragement period you're going through. Just know that. And again with that the story of David. As David inquired of God's direction, and as he was, Bible says as he was going, they met an Egyptian man. And this Egyptian man, because he was following God's direction, he met an Egyptian man. And this Egyptian man led David to where the Amalekites were. So, in your timely encouragement, seek God's direction, encourage yourself in the Lord, is your timely encouragement period. God is equipping you. Seek his direction. How do I relate again? Which direction do I follow? And as you follow that direction, you will meet that Egyptian man. That Egyptian man that is your husband. Or you meet that Egyptian man like David met. That Egyptian man could be a man, a woman, a girl, whoever it might be that will connect you to your husband. So there is that Egyptian man waiting for you as you follow God's direction. And as you encourage yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. So the, another key factor you need to understand is about timely victory. There is timely victory in God's timing. No matter how long you have waited on him. Remember God comes through on time in your victories. He's a timely victorious God. He is a timely victorious God. Despite the setbacks, hold-ups, 
waiting periods or seasons of perceived stagnation. Trust that God is working everything out for your good. God is working everything out for your good and has positioned you for greatness for his divine purpose and plan. Our promise, or I would say one promise that God has given us is that he cannot be mocked. God cannot be mocked in your life, my sister. God cannot be mocked. As many as they are that have mocked you, as many as they are that have said, she's not yet married. She's 28. She's 30. She's 32. She's 35. God will make you to laugh. You cannot be mocked. God cannot, be, can, cannot put you to shame. I'm telling you in assurance of who God is. And I'm telling you by experience which I have gone through. I am married now, but I was there many years ago. And I understand. Hallelujah. Remember the book of Jeremiah. In the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11. But Bible says, for I know the thought I think of, of towards you, said the Lord. The thoughts of peace are not of evil, to give you a hope and an expected end. And the book of Proverbs 23 verse 18 says, And your expectations will never be cut off. Sister, your expectations will never be cut off. That's one thing you need to know. That expectation, that desire of your heart, Bible says, delight myself, delight yourself, sorry, in the Lord, and He will grant you the desires of your heart. Just put your delight in Him. What do we mean by putting your delight in the Lord? The taste of the Spirit, you are delighted with it. The joy that comes from within is your strength. It doesn't matter what people are thinking. It doesn't matter. Refuse to be moved by pressure. Just keep delighting yourself in the Lord. Your expected end is coming. As you pursue a God-honoring life, actively trusting God in the challenging times and refuse to operate outside his glorious plan for your life, you will have a testimony. If I give yourself my example, I got married. I started waiting on the Lord at age 28. That's the time I would, I'm, I'm saying, I mean, I said, wow, I need God now. I need to make it a prayer request. I just don't need to fail socialization and the, attend them weddings attending parties, attending every occasion will make a way for me. At 28, I know I said, it's God. And by his grace, I gave my life to Jesus as a young lady. So I know it is God. And at 28 years, I started praying. And when did I get married, sisters? I got married at 32 years. Five years of waiting. And I got to the timely victory. Because on that particular date, God have ordained that's the year in Gozeka. I will get married. And the same with you. There is that time as you're going through these key factors I'm um, sharing with us today. When the time timely victory comes, ah. Nothing will stop it. You will just know. I don't want to start going into the testimony of my own marriage. Maybe that will be another video. I will share how I got married, my own testimony. So, your timely victory is sure to be accompanied at a table prepared before you in the presence of your enemies, lacking no good thing. Be, be just be encouraged today 
that although is starring, although things aren't going the way that you desire, your divine designer has made a one kind masterpiece, a master plan for your life. And when others see your favorite embellished coats of many colors, your husband, they will know it is lost to you. Hallelujah. There is a time victory waiting for you. Remember, he who loves last, last best. He who loves last, last best. It's not getting married earlier. Makes you to have a healthy relationship. Makes you to have a, the best marriage. Makes you to have children quickly. Makes you to have anything you can think about having. It's not, it's not I married before you. No. Of course, you can, you can tell yourself. So many people you know. Like I said, I will share my testimony at some point in a video. So when things appear not to be moving along or forward, trust that God is coming through for you in a timely victory. God is coming through for you in a timely victory. Hallelujah. The third key factor you need to know about God's timing is timely wisdom. Timely wisdom. God comes through on time in providing wisdom during situations in life that appear confusing. Throughout God's word, we read several accounts or we read on a daily basis several accounts where individuals faced situations when timely wisdom was very important. They needed the timely wisdom of God to enforce God honoring solutions to the, to the present problem. For example, let me give us some examples. Solomon asked God for wisdom on how to govern his people effectively. And God came through in timely wisdom when a dispute took place between two mothers and the children. Another example that was timely wisdom is Daniel. Daniel replied with discretion and wisdom to the Nebuchadnezzar's bodyguard. When a decree went out to put him and his friends to death, God came through a timely wisdom for Daniel. God granted Daniel the wisdom to interpret Nebuchadnezzar's dream. God granted Daniel the wisdom to reply the Nebuchadnezzar's, Nebuchadnezzar's God. Hallelujah. Timely wisdom. Do we want to talk about Esther? Esther sought the face of the Lord. When there was evil attempt of Haman regarding the annihilation of her people. My sister, God is infusing infusing you with his divine wisdom within the situations you're going through within the situations you're going through god is infusing increasing your wisdom we acquire wisdoms by the things we go through we acquire wisdom is god's wisdom i mean but god is bringing it making you so acquire wisdom by the situations that come through you. James 18 verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Just keep acquiring your timely wisdom, my sister, and wait and see. That wisdom will help you in your marriage. That wisdom will help you to deal with situations that will come in your marriage. That's what God is doing at this timely wisdom. God's word is a reminder that you, 
that you know god time is timeless god time is timeless just hold on him and not bound don't bound by any other thing but holding on to god age is only a number i say again is there anything too hard for the lord to do no no wait and see him show up for you receive your timely encouragement today timely wisdom timely encouragement receive it by watching this video god is speaking to someone he's providing you with timely wisdom which you require in readiness for your marriage institution in due season hallelujah the next one the fourth one the key factor of what you need to understand in god's timing is timely instruction timely instruction god gives timely instructions that not only affect or benefit you but others whom you know and don't know god's instructions will not only benefit you it might benefit others around you when god instructs you to do something it is wise to be obedient to what the father is telling you because there is a purpose in his timing and in his plan i want to refer us to bible again we know rahab in the bible rahab serves as a dynamic example of God coming through on, on time in timely instruction. Timely instruction. When Joshua sent two scouts to spy out the land of Jericho, these two men went to Rahab's, uh, Rahab's house and lodged there. Rahab received a revelation and knew that God was the Lord in heaven above and on earth beneath that revelation that revelation was you know was timely and it caused her to take timely action in seeking an oath between the two spies regarding the saving of her family when god's plan of action was to take place god came through a timely instruction for rahab by instructing her through the two spies to bring her entire family into her home and to do a cord of sacred thread in the window when rahab followed the specific instruction of the spies god came through on time so when jericho was conquered and rahab's family was saved there is power in being obedient in god's timely instructions to us what has god instructed you to do sister what are you busy doing what instructions have God instructed you to do? And probably you're saying, until I get married. Let me, let me, yes, Lord, when I get married, I will, when I get married, I will start, or I will do that. Sister, there is miracle in that timely instruction. I'm telling you by experience, I will share my experience one day. There is miracle in that timely instruction. So, that timely instruction is so important you follow it. Follow the timely instruction. One can only imagine what would have happened to, to Rahab if he didn't follow God's timely instruction. Or do we talk about Noah? Noah followed God's timely instruction when he was commanded to build an ark. If that ark was not built, one can imagine what could have happened so god's instruction 
is so important, we seek to eat. Whatever God has commanded you to do, God's instruction for your life is so important. There is purpose in his plan within that instruction. There is purpose in his plan within that instruction. He that has commanded you to do it, have a reason, have a purpose. So, just do as you are led to do. Are you where you where God needs you to be? I've had a friend who was timely instruction. I've had a friend who was um, instructed to move from where she is to another city, just like Abraham. Abraham was instructed to move without understanding where he was going. But that was his promised land. He obeyed and moved forward. What the lady I was talking about, God instructed her to move, but she was like, what kind of move? I'm settled here, I'm comfortable, I've got a good job, and I've known people here. Why am I moving? But in obeying that timely instruction, that was where she met the bone of her bone and the flesh of her flesh. So, follow God's timely instruction and watch how he comes through for you. The next one <coughs> is timely training. Timely training. Your collective life experiences are working together for your good and training for you for the plans, purpose, and will of God for you. Timely training is only what you're undergoing. You're only undergoing timely training. If I didn't have my timely training during my own period, I wouldn't have something to share. I wouldn't be able to handle the situations I've handled in my marriage. Timely training. That's all you're going through. God's time, you're going through timely training. So, God, as you journey through your life as children of covenant, trusting God is absolutely important in our lives. Although we might not understand all the puzzle pieces at the moment, but when we trust God, knowing that he loves us, and we never leave us nor forsake us. We are empowered to faithfully believe that God's training is where he is taking us. The training God is allowing you to go through is timed and on purpose. He knows there's something you're going to do for him. There's something you're going to meet at some point. Is training you. It's timely training that will lead to timely victory. You're going through timely encouragement. You're going through timely wisdom. You're going through timely training. You're following timely instructions, and then you've come to you will come to timely victory. So we're still talking about timely training. Your training is strengthening you for where God has ordained you to go. No matter what, remember, obedience and faith is God's way to the top. Hallelujah. I'll give, I'll give examples again from the scriptures. When God ordered Moses' steps as a baby to be led, to be led raised, and educated in the house of Pharaoh, God came through in timely training because Moses was equipped in the ways and customs to communicate with Pharaoh to serve as advocates for the Israelites' freedom. That was timely training at that point for Moses. 
Another example in the Bible, when God ordered David's steps to shepherd, to defend, to tend his father's sheep, God came through in timely training because not only did his training assist him, David, to defeat Goliath, he served as king, shepherding, defending, and tending his heavenly father's sheep in praise, in God's will, and in worship. Hallelujah. When God ordered Esther's steps, she received advice from the king, King Enos, and found favor. He, Esther um, found favor with all who saw her, including the king. God came through in timely training for Esther because Esther learned order and how to converse with the king on behalf of the deliverance of her people. You're going through timely training, sister. You're going through timely training. You, you might be going through training that will help you to understand let me take off spiritual things now because everybody will not be called to do anything but you could do what i'm doing i'm not a pastor i'm just a child of god that has been ministered or has been led to minister the, that have got so much passion because i was there and i know how i felt so i've been led to minister to encourage the ladies out there, the Christian ladies out there. But there are many timely trainings I have gone through in my own marriage today. I am 25 years in marriage. I've gone timely training. The timely training I went through have helped me to be a success, to have a successful marriage. Very enjoyable marriage. Very healthy relationship. Hallelujah. It's Lord's doing. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not because I know how to make love or how to relate with my in-laws or how to, you know, how to do anything. I, we're not talking about the institution of marriage here now. But uh, marriage is big, of course. Marriage is so big. It's so big. And that's why I have, again, so passionate for the singles. Because when you go all this training and you get into that marriage institution remember marriage institution is an institution where you will never graduate you will never graduate you will be there studying learning <laughs> hallelujah studying learning every day every blessed day by the time you got your blessed with children you begin to study and learn your children <laughs> because if we if we don't study and learn them <laughs> That can be an issue between your you and your husband. <coughs> Excuse me. So <coughs> you're going through timely training, not just for to have a ministry or to be a pastor or anything spiritual, but timely training that will help you in your own marriage institution that you cannot even um see the time you're getting married. But as years comes by, as Jesus starts, you begin, your, it will begin to unwrap. <laughs> it will begin to unwrap. And then you know why you went through all the trainings at the time. Why God have not just allowed you to jump into marriage like that. The best is to get into marriage, enjoy your marriage, have a healthy relationship, have a, 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 a enjoyable uh, in-laws everything around the marriage institution you don't want to go into marriage after one year you're out you don't want to go into marriage if you don't want to come out you just want to stay you just want to stay because you're a child of God I know that God, that God, God doesn't like it excuse me you just want to stay, stay because you've got children no, you don't want a kind of marriage you don't want a enduring marriage. You want an enjoyable marriage, right? So you're going, you're just going through the training. 
So, when another example I want to refer us again, time uh, training, we're talking about when God ordered Joseph's steps to have a dream, that dream he had, Joseph was disrespected by his family. He was rerouted from his homeland. He was lied on, thrown into jail, forgotten about. God came through a timely training because, excuse me, Joseph was used to save many lives as a leader. So my sister, allow these models of timely training these models we've shared for the bible reflect on them understand before your timely victory comes that god is just training you allow these models to understand it god is training you to fulfill his plan to fulfill his purpose and his will God comes through on time. God comes through on time. He will come through on time. I'll just try to put together all we have shared today. The, the five key factors about God's timely, about God's timing. Timely encouragement. Encourage yourself in the Lord. It doesn't matter what you have seen. It doesn't matter how hot you have felt. Don't worry. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Tell yourself the Lord is in this situation with me. The situation of waiting for the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. Understand you are acquiring timely wisdom at this period. Understand that timely instructions will come along with your training. And as you're going through the timely training, as the timely instructions comes, follow the direction. Obey that instruction. Because that instruction might be where your miracle is that instruction might lead you to your husband and understand that you will come to your timely victory unless if you don't desire to get married as long as you desire to get married your timely victory is coming hallelujah so i will stop here today and i'll be back again so encourage us with another topic probably to share my testimony so i would like you to i hope you have enjoyed this video i would like you to subscribe and i would like you to um set up your notification in youtube so that you will always be alerted when i post a new video and I will also appreciate you to make comments, whether positive or negative, because you're going to tell me how you've enjoyed the video, how beneficial or not, and it will help me to improve. It will help me to see the face of the Lord in what I'm sharing with you. So, not, uh, put up your notification subscribe comment about the videos and i will get back to you to reply your comments so thank you ever so much for watching for listening to this video and i hope you are blessed god bless you keep on encouraging yourself in the lord keep on following your time instruction keep on I'll in your timely wisdom. Keep on going through your timely training. You will come to your timely victory. God bless you and bye for now. God bless. Bye.